Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Shogi's Touch. It's devotional morning. Hope you all are great. Hope you all had a beautiful week here in Trinidad and Tobago. It is Saturday. It's where I'm from, the little Caribbean island, Trinidad and Tobago. We are about to, sorry, I'm about to have a um, morning devotion. On this channel, we get morning devotion, we get um, wood, you also get encouragement, you get motivation, you get my products. I do skin and hair care products as well. And you know, God directed me to where He would like me to come and you know, encourage His people where His wood is concerned. Because you know, somewhere along in life, we always need that encouragement, no matter at what stage you are and as a christian i believe we need it every day just like how we have to repent every day we need it every day all right today is saturday you know so i'm just going to start off with, with first of all i just want to say that you know you go to god for yourself whatever word i put out to you go to god and you know let him direct your path you know he speaks to all of us and as individual he gets our attention individually right Hallelujah, God. Father, we just give you all honor and praise. I just do your matchless name. Father, Lord, you are worthy. You are beautiful. You are kind. Father, Lord, you are the King of kings and Lord of lords. There is none like you. You are our soon and forever coming King. Father, Lord, you are Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the first and the last. The one who is and is to come. You are Jehovah Nisi. You are Jehovah Sitkano. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are Jehovah Rohi. Father Lord, you are Jehovah of everything. Father Lord, you created the galaxy. Father, you sit high and you look to your God, Jesus. Father, you are a just God. Father, we thank you, dear Father, for allowing us to be here today. Thank you, dear Father, for the roof over our head and the floor of our feet. Father, we thank you, dear Father, that we have life and life more abundantly in you. Father Lord, wherever we are on this journey called life, the Father, you allow us to take a U turn with you in you on any road god but i want thank you for allowing us to be here in the land of a living god jesus thank you god that whatever little we have the father we are grateful for it, god jesus but father love your god of you know you can multiply god jesus and father love you we come before your children grace that father lord for your healing we come for your children grace that father lord for your provision in all our areas of our life and we thank you the father lord, for you know you being god in the seven years and i thank you for strengthening us mentally emotionally physically father we come against panic attack we come against depression we come against anxiety father we come against worry father the worry gets us nowhere it gets us sick father we come against it right now father i pray that father for our children father throughout the world god jesus for everyone throughout the world god father the homeless god jesus father i pray that father will provide a meal for them god jesus send someone along their path god Father Lord, wherever you are, Father Lord, Father Lord, wherever they are, Father, I pray that Father, you're going to surround them with your precious blood, God Jesus. Father, I declare that, Father Lord, that we are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath any situation. Father Lord, we are conquerors through Christ strengthen us. Father Lord, Father Lord, in Psalm 73, verse 26, says, Father, you are the strength of our portion. Father, Father Lord, Father Lord, you are magnified, Father, in our weakness, Father. That's when you come in and you show yourself, Father Lord. Father, in, our, in all areas of our life, Father, we ask you, Father, to intervene. We actually show up and show up. Father, I pray for discernment, God. Father, I pray that, Father, that you will have discernment, God. Father, I declare that, Father, discernment upon our on our ears, Father, so we will know when you are speaking to us, God. Father, you want a relationship with us. Father, not a, not a self-ship. Not a self-ship, God, but you want a relationship, God. You want to come and talk with us chat with us oh hallelujah jesus father do you want to dine with us god father you want to come and tell us you know you're beautiful you're kind you're my ear you're not only my servant but you're my ear father father we just want to thank you for tabernacling with us thank you for allowing us to have sweet sleep god father so many things that have happened when we are asleep god but i pray that father for a spirit of peace to the world god jesus Father, Lord, you are the Alpha and Omega, Father, Lord, 
Father, their hand is not too short to reach their family in, in everyone's situation. Father, whatever it is, show the world in Africa, India, Palestine, Lebanon. Father, Lord, I declare that, Father, Lord, healing right now, God, Jesus. Father, I pray that, Father, Lord, for what is to come, God, you have your divine way, God. And, Father, we are not going to be like the foolish virgins. Mm -hmm. Heard the word, heard the king is about to come and not prepare our lambs with our oil and our wick. Father, I declare that, Father, Lord, you have your day. You have your way, you have your plans. Father, I pray that Father, we will be encouraged the Father Lord, that even though things may seem to be going wrong in our lives as individuals, Father Lord, you are working it around for your good, for our good, God. You have our back, you have our back for sure, God. You have our back, you are directing our path, God. Your word is yea and nay. Father Lord, listen, thank you for it. Thank you for your divine provision. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your shalom. Thank you for everything, God. Hallelujah. Yo, that was our prayer today. You know, I just want to say, wherever you are, God loves you. Jesus loves you. You are the heir to his kingdom. And through it all, you know, he's amazing, you know. Hallelujah, God. You know what I've learned along this walk in life? That we are far from perfect. I also learned wherever we are in life, God is waiting with open arms to receive us. He's saying, come son, come. I'm waiting for you, come. Daughter, I'm waiting for you, come. I also learned these words. I have learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, I have learned to depend upon His words. And it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. You know, God will separate you. Hmm. He will separate you. He's going to take you from you know, some of us probably might have, well, the corona has affected us all throughout the whole world. Some of us was released from our jobs. Some of us, we get in two days a week. Some of us don't know where our next meal will come from. Some of us, things are just hard right around. I don't know how the taxi drivers do it. I don't know. How the, I remember I was in Port of Spain sometime and God is so beautiful huh? I was walking on Park Street and I honestly didn't have no money <laughs> and I'm like God have your way you know and you know he told me he said go check your account and I'm like what I go on check your account I was like I was like God thank you God thank you he provided and I know if he did it for me, I know he can do it for you. Because no, he is a no respecter of anyone. He will bless anyone. Once you tap into him, once you go to him in truth, in spirit, in truth and humility, and you talk to him and don't be selfish. He do not want a selfship. He wants a relationship. He wants to relate to you. He wants to speak to you. He wants you to say, okay, for instance, like when you talk to our brethren, hey, yeah, what going on, boy? Last night, why I I do so so so, you know. What were you think about that boy? I to be honest with you, I find I find that was real bad, boy. I find I feeling bad. I feel I should not do that. He wants a relationship. That I okay, guess that's where some of us get caught up in the movie. Probably think you know we're unworthy. Yes, we're unworthy of God's love, but He said He for God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son, the world, the world, right? And I, I came onto the bank and I was like, Father, you are so. I wanted to cry and back sheet because <laughs> between God and I, he knew what my need was. He knew what my need was. And I said, you know, let me go and grab something to eat in ritual. And while I was about to enter ritual on back sheet there, 
there was this tall guy and he was asking someone for something to eat and the person who walked past him didn't give any heed and he approached me and I was walking and he's like mom I could just get something that woman money or something and I was like I didn't see you just came out of there and he's like yeah but they tell me I can't come in because I don't have a mask he really didn't have one and I was like you know let's walk past him enter into rituals and I I don't know what happened I just felt I was going this way I just felt some do me so and I'm walking and I'm walking going back and I'm like why am I going to what you do and all I was like, bless him bless him twice I hear that bless him and I open the door and I call him I say excuse and then like this and he said me I said you come I was like what you wanted to get to eat here yeah, ma'am anything anything I was like no tell me what you want and he's like I can't come in I said come quick so he stood, he stood up far and he pointed he said but they don't have any lunch they only have this I said okay no problem I said would you like this one or that one he said this one I said would you like anything to drink he said yes he said nothing nothing no Pepsi I said all right I said okay go back outside now so they won't tell you anything and he wasn't smelling or anything he wasn't smelling he wasn't looking dirty or untidy per se and I said God I've never seen him before on the shooter I said God you know COVID hit us in so many ways that if it is we don't pay attention it, it's just it's just so deep psychologically emotionally physically it is it has hit us some more than some cannot everybody can handle things the way how I will handle it you may handle something much better than the way how I handle it I, my reaction might be totally different from you but same situation but total different reaction and you know I I, I purchased you know, two slices of pizza for him and a red drink and you know the guy gave it to me and stuff like that so i walked to what you do and i give it to him no i told him come so now the, the i uh no not not glorifying myself definitely not you know giving god all on and glory but the look on this gentleman's face when i gave him the two box of pizza he said ma'am he said ma'am the two i was like yes yeah but i said no the two is for you and he's like, oh my God, him, thank you so much. He even, he even said, um, he even said, um, I really heard people said, um, that people with space in their teeth are really nice people, whatever, whatever. I was like, whatever. <laughs> so, um, but he was really, really thankful. No, I don't know, but he, he told me, he told me, he said, ma'am, pray for me. You know, and I asked him his name. He told me his name and, I, and I've never, never forgot that gentleman name. You know it just made me look at that day and see that you all ever thought about the homeless people on the streets during this COVID situation they depend on the passers-by the pedestrians whoever we may be at on daily basis to going about our daily transitions transactions they depend on us they i was like wow god and god just done that right there he broke my heart and i sat down and I, my eyes filled with tears and i was like god god i was like god thank you for providing for me because when i didn't know i didn't have any money and it's just to show you that when God, God blesses us so that we can be a blessing to others. Right? You might see somebody in the street. They might not even want to be on the street. You know, like, like the guy. He was healthy. Well, appeared to be healthy. You know, and Brett wasn't smelling bad. Because, uh, trust me, I have a thing with Brett. If you're talking to me and... Mm, anyway. And... He was clean and I don't know if because he got let go from his work or what his situation was 
that made him be there that's where it, it again it goes back to god's scriptures judge not judge not in the wink of a day in the wink of a second the carpet that security carpet that you may think that you have can, can be pulled from underneath you what are you going to do build your foundation in christ he is the great architect he's the great supervisor the greatest manager He's the greatest physician. I've seen God do some things for me in March now. I mean, it only could be him. Whatever little you have, say, God, this is my last. This is all I have. But I ask to continue to be my provider. Continue to be my healer. We all need this at some point in our life. And I've learned to don't only ask for those things when we are well, or when we have, or when we don't have. You know, say, God, continue to be my everything. Because we don't know what the next minute can provide, what the next minute can bring. And it's amazing to see the whole world is affected by this disease, this virus. The whole world. We don't know what will happen next month. October november december is it gonna get worse will it get better the greatest scientist scientist not sure but they have statistics or they have you know where they think there's a possibility of if this happened if that happened there's a possibility they have possibilities but yeah what I know a God who sees and knows all things and all he's asking you is just to come under the cleft of the rock with him. Let him be your refuge, your fortress. He is the end that I am. He is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the one who is and is to come. Those tough situations that you have gone through. It wasn't by chance. Your test shall turn into testimonies. I declare it in the name of Jesus. You are an overcomer. But before you before you overcome, there is something to overcome. Remember that? Before you become an overcomer, and there are things that you're gonna have to overcome. Before you become a conqueror, there are things that you're gonna have to conquer. I remember sometime, you know, talking to God and he was like, you know, yeah, yeah, he is so sweet, eh? He will talk to you and you would be, you would laugh or cry, but it, it is all good. It's all good. And I remember I was in church and, you know, before, before that Sunday, he told me this particular thing that I've been working on like years now. And... He said, um, I don't know why you're talking to him in prayer. That's the thing. We need to learn to listen to him, you know. You know, Jesus, what's up? You know, I want to talk with you and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I, I go to him like that. I say, you know, God, I need you. Um, you know, and I will make an atmosphere of praise and worship for him. And, you know, I ask him to enter in. You know, because Lord, come and, come and tap him up with me, please. And stuff like that. And... And he was like, go back. Right. I was like, I was like, you know, I for real, I really haven't done that for a while. Go to church. There's a particular testimony. <laughs> and he's like, there again, he's like, you see, I'm telling you. I came home that Sunday afternoon. Again, listening to something. And the person said, the person said this particular thing. And he's like, I was like, okay. All right, all right, all right, King. I hear you. <laughs> I'm gonna do this, right? And he has been so awesome, you know. And just let me just get something to, to share with you.
you know, it's just where that, you know, it, 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 it has this whole experience, and I'm still going through it, where he wants us to come deep onto him. And sometimes our, we, we make our lives so busy that sometimes he takes stuff from us to get our attention. And it's just some some declarations that um you know he I love me to did some while back and I'm just gonna give you some of it where he said as I well you know that this is where how it goes as I live in God my love grows more perfect I can face him with confidence on on the day of judgment because I live like Jesus here in the world first John chapter 4 verse 17 Right, I receive an abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. I reign in the in life through Jesus Christ. Romans five seventeen. Wives, as a wife, I submit myself to my husband, as it is fitting in the Lord. My husband loves me like Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Colossians chapter three eighteen and Ephesians five twenty five says, husband. As a husband, I love my wife as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. You know, the first thing people would say church is a building. Church is not a building, eh? Okay, for instance, with all people in the church, it will be known as a building. But we, as humans, are the church. You know, we are the church. If there wasn't a body of Christ, a body of people to dwell in the building or wherever we are it can be a tent it can be a stable you know be the people of the church um i am kind and tender-hearted to others i forgive them as god in christ has forgiven me whoa see that my poor reason you see that that hit me like wow listen to this I am kind and tender-hearted to others. I forgive them as God in Christ has forgiven me. Listen to me. All the dirty crap that I've done. Some of you are going to watch me and say, No, sister, I don't, I don't want nothing to do with you. Let me be real. Some of you are going to say, sister, I don't want nothing to do with you. Because you did so and so and so by so by so by so. And some years ago when he brought me to this, to that particular book and verse, chapter and verse. It's like I saw things differently. You know, he said his people pressure a lack of understanding. You know. It's, it's facts. It is facts. I am so glad what you is like this. He said he threw our sins in the sea of forgetfulness. Okay. The the, the, the deepest, deepest the Mariana Trench or Wrench or whatever that this is. Some of you have to look it up. I think it's the Mariana Trench or Drench. That thing is really deep. Right? So think about it. All the all the all the stuff you've done because you have you have accepted him as Lord and Savior in your life. He put those things there and it's only man can condemn, only man can quote unquote say, well, you feel it this and you are so, listen to me. This is what I would say on a personal note, I would say, hey, you remember the old me? Well, here I was. I have grown and grown up and I would walk away. People would tell people, I'm not crazy, I'm not crazy. I just have to look at things differently. While you persecuted me of my sins and all that i've done and all the things that i could have do hey god said seek ye for the kingdom of god and all his righteousness shall be added unto you that's one of his promise right so when he is when you see them when you see my dirty garments god has given me a new coat a new jacket to walk in him with him for his purpose always remember that he is Watch me. He is unshakable, unchangeable. He is loving. 
there is no one that I've ever went much when Jesus touched your soul. Hey, hey it's on nothing else that can can compare to that feeling, nothing else. Alright, um also I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 this scripture is the one we need to declare every five minutes in our lives. I ask God to set a guard over my mouth. He keeps watch over the door of my lips. Phil sorry, Psalms 141, verse 3. I am God's servant and he takes pleasure in my prosperity. Psalms 35, 17. I'm just going to expound on that that day. Okay, we know... Heaven's currency is not money, but it's a spiritual realm, right? You see, this is what I this is what I love. My church for Rafa Revival Ministry. Hey. Um there was this thing that we used to say. Well, let me just say, you know, um it goes like this. Jobs and better jobs, raises and bonuses, checks in the mail, finding money, gifts and gift surprises. You know, you see our mouth, our tongue. We need to start to declare stuff in our lives. Right? If it is you're feeling down and you're in a room that is dark and you have to change the setting, get up, open up your windows. You have to change the sheet off your bed to make your environment. Do it. Do it. Right, God, God was God is gonna give you ideas. He's gonna bless you with ideas and bless you with talents to bring in the prosperity. Right, He's gonna do that. You need to ask, Hey, pops, I need help, I need something, I, I, I don't have no money. What to do? Help me. Like, that's me. He is, he is going to tell you what to do, like, word for word. Like, trust me, I've been there. Like word for word. Sometimes I might leave home and I, I leave home. I remember this one time before where I'm currently living. I went to my son's school to pick up his report book and I was like, God, I don't even know how to get to this place. I'm walking there and I saw one of my supervisors uh, from St. James um, Medical Complex. She's a head nurse supervisor and she's like, where are you heading? I was like, I had it so, so she's like, I'm passing right there. I was like, God! I was like, Jesus, you're too sweet. And I was so happy because she literally passed right in front of where I was heading. Now you tell me that's God? That's no coincidence. That's God. Right? And also, um, I, right, I read that one already. God makes all grace abound toward me so that I always have all sufficiency and an abundance for every day with the second Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8. I bring the whole tithe into the storehouses. The, the open, sorry, he opened the windows of heaven for me and pours out a blessing. So so great that I don't have room for it. That's Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. Watch me. Watch me. I remember I used to do eyelashes and stuff. And interlock ras and do ras and stuff. Sometimes it might be fifty dollars or a hundred dollars. Let's see, right? I get from that one transaction in the eyelashes, right? So my eye from that, right, would have been ten percent, right? I would double the ten percent, and I'll put it. Some of you are gonna say, "Oh, that small little thing you put in." Sometimes I might get five dollars to the week. And I would take two dollars. I will literally take two dollars and put it in my envelope. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. That was my five dollars the Lord allowed me to have. Right? And I put it in there. And God would bless me. Bless me in ways that you might not even understand. You might start a question in your whole logical earthly thinking. Alright? But God is good. So I've learned to I've learned to do this declaration on me every morning. Personal declarations. I am well. I am healed. And when you say you're healed, make steps towards better version of you. Make steps to better versions of you. These are my personal declarations, you know. I am loved. I love others. I am strong. 
I am positive, I am whole, I have a father who is a king, and I am his heir. I believe in Jesus Christ and his statue and commandments. Each hurdle I will go over, under or around it victoriously. I know who I am and whose I am. I have an army working with me towards those that are against me. The battle is the Lord's. My children are obedient. <laughs> yes, people. Yeah, right. you had to declare. My children shall do well in all realms of life. Each and every distraction that comes up against my family and I in a negative way shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I, I, I can't say this was not decoration, y'all. This one, mm, this one, it's not, it's not yet to come, you know? It's in the working. Wait, I'm looking at something that I wrote here. I can't remember which year I wrote this, but wow, wow. My products will be perfected and effective. Y'all, I didn't, my product, I've been doing my products since 2017. We came to the public in 2009, which was last year. So basically, I was giving my products for like a whole year. And, you know, taking back reports on people saying what, you know, what they think about it to get it better and stuff like that. My store business shall be open and prospering. My husband will love me and has eyes for me for me only. Never been obsessed or jealous of me. Yes, you probably have to write it and proclaim it. Hey, single ladies! <laughs> ah! My wife shall be who God wants her to be. A help made to me and I will protect and provide for her. Gentlemen, single men, declare it. You know you're going to have other come to feet coming by when God hired me to come by. Just, just side note. I shall own... Okay, no, I'm not going to say this part yet. Ha. My God is a gigantic God. God of gods. Lord of lords. King of kings. His plan to my life is bigger than my mind can think. So I make room for him to allow those plans to be. Hey, yo, watch me. Yo, watch me. God is so sweet. I, that's why I can't say. My vocabulary is not big enough to say. How? I expect, receive, and give unusual blessings. I expect, receive, and give unusual blessings. I pray that my husband will be bold as a lion when needed and calm and playful when needed. And I'm going to say the rest. <laughs> Each child I bring forth into this world shall be extraordinary. Right? Each generation after me, from my lineage, shall be followers of Christ, shall share the gospel. I shall always ask Jesus what he wants me to do in each situation. He is my counselor. I will never regret being a Christian. I am calling the Holy Spirit to be in my life. The life he has given to me. It's a new day, a new season, new chapter, a new me, new opportunities to to new opportunity to be all God wants me to be. Amen. I didn't mean for this video to go this length, but you know, as I said, that God has his way. Because when he told me to come on YouTube, I think it was like some weeks ago, trust me, I was like I, but I like battled it for some days and said, God, and he's like, I don't want to hear you. Do what I say. <laughs> he's like, just do what I say. He didn't remind you, Jonah. Jonah's ran, he ran, he ran. He ended up in the belly of a whale. And I was like, yeah, what? Well, I don't want to go through all that process. So I'm just going to surrender it all. And, you know, as, well, as you know, you're growing in him and stuff like that, he's going to, he's going to be, he's going to, you are going to bond with him one morning. You're going to know. And he's speaking to you and he's gonna tell you when to when to come out when to say this when to say that because i mean there are things i some of the things i want to share with you but god is saying hold up hold up god is so awesome you know if you want to donate anything to the shim kids touch right i'm going to put my business email in the bottom there don't forget to subscribe like comment let, let's interact you know comment and share this video right i just want to say that you're beautiful you're kind you know you're you're blessed despite despite the stresses that you may go through look at the blessings that you have you may 
you might have diabetes or something again that's what the question say you are healed but don't just say healed get practical at it start to take step towards personal health changing your diet if it is you just walk for five minutes in the yard do it right i myself are going is going through those personal changes and i have seen stuff happening to my body i was like god thank you because he also told me that i need to start to pay attention to my health yes he can talk to you about anything that concerns us right and he is beautiful so just want to say shalom to you thank you for stopping by don't forget to share like comment and subscribe to my channel and i shall be back with more stuff more information i'm so excited for that for you all it's raining here in Trinidad, wherever you are shalom to you all and enjoy your day bye